Hello and welcome to my home. If you're new here, my name's Karen. I have a big to-do list to get going on today. So what I'm gonna do is start in the kitchen, get that cleaned up, and get supper in the crock pot because I know at the end of today, I'm gonna be real tired. We were traveling last weekend, or yeah, last weekend to visit family, and I am really feeling it, but I'm gonna push through and get that to-do list done. So let's get started. You and I, the future is bright. If you have some messes around your house and you're feeling tired, then I invite you to stick around and we are going to do this together. Hope you're fine and got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by. Pictures of sunny days with your smile. My normal pattern is to start right with the dishes, but today I decided to start on the island. It was quite a mess. It was really bothering me, so I decided today to start with getting all the clutter taken care of, and that really condensed all the dishes, so it worked out really well. I thought it would take a while to get the kitchen back in order, but it was really, really quick. If you feel comfortable to let me know in the comments section, I'd like to know what are the areas that you're working on in your home today. I find it super motivating to know what everyone else is working on too. Today I'm using my Mrs. Meyers Honeysuckle All-Purpose Spray. I just love the smell of this spray. I love the floral scents when it comes to cleaners. I just need to get a few of these dishes hand washed and dried, put away, and then I'll be completely done with the kitchen and it's gonna feel so, so good. This is what I love about cleaning. Even if I'm not looking forward to the actual work of it, it's worth it to me because I just love that feeling when it's completely done. I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine and got time. I'm not broken. It feels so good to have the kitchen clean. Let me know in the comments below if you like to cook in a clean kitchen too. So now that the kitchen is clean, I can get started on my crock pot recipe. I'm going to be doing hash brown casserole, actually cheesy hash brown casserole in the crock pot. And then when supper time comes, I'm just going to be throwing some Brussels sprouts in the oven. And my husband's going to be cooking a ham steak on the grill, which really is pre-cooked. You just have to heat it up. So it'll be super, super easy. And I know I'm going to be tired, so it's going to work out perfect. For the hash brown casserole, we're going to use one 32 ounce bag of hash browns and they can be cubed or shredded, it doesn't matter. The beauty of this recipe is we just dump everything, just dump. Next we'll put in one 10 ounce can of cream of chicken soup. Now we'll add two cups or 16 ounces of sour cream. Now add two cups of cheddar cheese, shredded. Whoops, I lost my spoon. <laughs> For spices, we're using one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, and then it calls for a quarter of a cup of parsley, and honestly, that's a bit much for me, so I'm just gonna sprinkle a bit across the top. Then we're doing one teaspoon of pepper, and one teaspoon of salt,
We're gonna cover it, put the slow cooker on low, and cook for three to four hours. I'll probably come back just before then and give it a good stir. That's all there is to it. This is a great recipe to put in the crock pot before church because three to four hours is just about perfect. So I'm back in the basement again. I'm just kind of pecking away. This is such a big area. It covers the whole square footage of our house. So I just peck away at it as I can. And today you can see I have these green bags and that's returnable bottles and cans. And I'm having my son bring those up and put them in the van for me so that when I go pick up my grocery order, I can drop off all of these recyclables. And they take up a pretty good amount of space, as you can see. And there's even one. Where is it? Hmm, over there somewhere where you see green. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. Also, I have that bag store I told you about in another video and I'll link that video below. But this up here is going in the bag store. This will probably go to Goodwill. Then over here, you can see this is something I'll be taking care of soon. This is all of our summer stuff. And this box can go then I had my daughter clean out these cages so that I can donate them to the local animal shelter. We just need to clean, uh, where is it, this one. And then this is a TV stand that's also going in the bag. Then stand. I had the area where I have shelving that I have like off-season decor and that sort of thing. And I'm just going to neaten that area up a little bit. So hopefully you'll see that today as well. Okay, so true confessions. <laughs> I had to take my daughters to some appointments and then when I got home, I thought I would do more filming and I was just too tired. So, new shirt, new day. But the good news is there's so much going on here, I can't even keep up with the camera. So my husband and my son took care of some of the things down here that I just mentioned to you previously, I'm pretty sure. And they also were taking care of some stuff on the side of the house, so I'm gonna insert a little clip here. Don't mind the wind, but here's my bag stir and how we have filled it up. So I'm gonna have to look online and see exactly how full it's able to be, but my husband might be able to rearrange some things so all of this fits. But we've already talked about getting a second one because it would probably be just as easy to have them come pick that up, so. If you missed my last decluttering video on what a bagster is, basically you can buy these at Home Depot or Lowe's, probably other places. You can go to bagster.com to see, and it replaces having a dumpster. And so you call a number, and then you pay separately to have them come and pick it up. So I will let you know when ours are picked up how much we paid, so you want to stay tuned for that. Click on the subscribe button. Also click on that little bell, and then YouTube will notify you whenever I upload a new video, so you'll be sure and not to miss that. Wood, so I'm moving from here all the way down. Are we just throwing this in the bags here? Yeah. So that goes in the bags. This is all cardboard. Right. never had a shed or an outbuilding and so this area underneath our sun porch which is where my husband's office is doesn't have a foundation and so we've always used it for the type of storage that you would have in a shed and also the side of the house here but what we're trying to do is declutter as if we're moving if we were moving what would we want out of the way and taken care of so that it was easy to just pack up and go and that's the stuff we're trying to declutter now and make some really tough decisions about what we keep and what we get rid of. And now I'll show you what they did in the basement. So here's where all those bottles were and that is empty now and I took them to the grocery store. And then panning over here, what was over here? Um, oh, I know. Well, the fridge was over here and we've moved that here so that when I have a family reunion in June, I can use that as a second fridge. 
And then there was a cabinet on top of there that's now gone. And panning, panning, panning. Lots of things to left to do. There's the guinea pig cage, but it used to be on top of a TV stand that was right there. That is now gone. So there's definite progress here. Plenty to do over here. Now it's time for me to look around and see what little things I could do here. I think I have about an hour's worth of time and energy. But this is how I'm doing things. I'm just, I'm not giving up and I'm just taking whatever little chunks of ch time I can and I'm just gonna keep at it. I'm really hoping this year is the year I get it done, but I'm just gonna keep at it and keep decluttering and eventually it will be done. But I figure every little bit I get done is more than I had done before. So every bit counts. So you might have seen me doing this area in one of my other videos. Here it is. And I need to get lids on some of these boxes. I know, I know. <laughs> um, and now look, look, this is, this is the thing. This is what happens. So other people are getting rid of stuff. My daughter's got rid of some clothes. I said, please put it on a shelf. That's not a shelf. But you know what? We're just going to deal with it. It's okay. I do it too. I need to get rid of that stuff. There's lots over here I need to get rid of, which is fine. But I'm at least going to try to get this mess cleaned up. Right? So if you could, <laughs> click on the like button if you can relate. This is the thing about a project that doesn't all happen in a day. It becomes a bigger project. It just keeps growing and I feel like this is an American problem or should I say an industrialized nation issue we have so many things that as quickly as you're shoveling it out more is coming in they grow out of clothes or the seasons change and then we get to pack away clothes and it just never stops but we shall not be beaten by it <laughs> maybe I'll become a minimalist after all this I don't know so I'm gonna just do the best I can here All right, so I have the stuff here on the shelf. The next thing I need to do is these are like empty boxes and stuff. I think my husband might have moved them out of the way because he was doing some decluttering down here, as I said, and these are empty. I'm gonna get these folded up and put on a shelf and I'm gonna see what that is and get it put on a shelf. These are some old school notebooks, but they're not high school, so I don't have to keep them. This is something I'm not even gonna show. I'm just gonna quietly get rid of it. It's actually piano pedals. We had gotten our piano fixed and then he gave us our pedals, but they're broken, so I don't get it. What's this? This is, oh, fire chains. Like I'm gonna put this, we have a place way over to the, against the wall. That's where stuff goes that's for outdoors. So I'll be switching those chains over there. One of you mentioned that cardboard boxes can attract critters. So I am keeping them at the bottom of my stairs, like all in a pile, but I do use these whenever I'm taking things to Goodwill. So I'm not going to get rid of them, but I do put them like right at the bottom of the stairs. So hopefully, honestly, if it's mice, <laughs> I have two cats. So they have proven themselves very, very proficient in mousing. I usually keep gift bags, so I'm gonna put this over here with crafts.
that guy? <laughs> He's never far away. Look at him. He's always near me. I also just noticed these. So I do have a box of lids. So whenever I'm missing a lid, I can just grab them. And then I don't even understand this. Someone explain what this is to me. I guess someone made a shield. I don't know. I guess I'll leave that one. I'm telling you. I blame homeschooling. Okay, this is going with my other ones. So here they are. And this is trash. So I'll bring it over to my trash. Actually, I have trash right here. I can add it to this. Right there. That was trash too. Trash everywhere. This is stuff I decluttered last time that I never got rid of, so that's going. It's kind of the finish is gone, so. See, we're already better. I do need to deal with over here. This box, I need to get the lid on it. So I'm going to look over here and see if I can get a lid for it. All right, these I'm getting rid of. And then I found the lid. I found the lid after about five tries. So that's the lid for that. So then I see this box woo, down there and it's got like pictures and stuff. I'm just going to move that up. Um, I have other um, pictures up there and even though these are like in frames, I'm going to move them up there for now just to get them off the floor. <sighs> so there's like, there's like decluttering and then there's like decluttering before you declutter. It's just, I really have a hard time cleaning where there is a mess. I prefer to get it kind of like scooped up and then clean it. So, I just found this. It goes to my refrigerator that's on the other side of the basement. This is ridiculous. Like, oh my word. If I ever get this cleaned up, I'm going to be so militant about this basement. But we got this right we all have messes in our lives and every step is a step toward it not being a mess anymore right Ooh, i gotta keep reminding myself and i'm gonna remind you that about your messes i'm not accusing you of having messes i'm just saying start college so there's pens and such in here and an office lamp so I'm thinking that's gonna get handed down. Better people. It hurts. It wasn't fair. It's over now, so don't despair. 
Do you ever feel like a hoarder? I feel like a hoarder. I know, glasses on, glasses off. It must make you dizzy. So I'm putting this near the fridge, bringing the shoes upstairs to see who this they are. This is the stuff that's going like in the trash and we're getting rid of. And I think I'm gonna take a break and maybe call it quits for today. Maybe I'll do a little, I was gonna do a little cleaning. I'll see how long this video is. I don't know. I might, <laughs> we'll see. I gotta tell you, whenever I do these videos, I always feel super manic. I'm just rushing, 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 and I'm totally out of breath. And it's so hard to edit because it's just, I'm like, oh my goodness, what a hot mess, because I'm just manic. But let me show you what we got here. Here is my progress today. So I at least feel like the messes that were dumped here, I dealt with. And I have lids on my boxes. And yes, I know those are wires, and I promise you it's okay that those boxes are there. All right, so I at least have lids on things. And then when it comes to like decluttering, these boxes do need to be decluttered. They don't belong to me, but I do know who they, they mostly belong to my older daughter and we'll just need to bring that stuff up for her and she'll go through it. And other stuff is storage for my son because he's in a small apartment. This is belongs to my girls and a lot of craft stuff and some off season clothes. This does not shut, but it probably needs to be decluttered too because it's craft stuff. But that is for another day. I'll put more videos up here on decluttering so that you can keep going if you'd like to. And as always, remember that God loves you and I love you too. And I can't wait to see you next time.